All right, welcome back to Everyday Race. So sometimes you blow a head gasket on your engine. You pull the head off, you clean it all up, put a new head gasket back on, and then you look at the factory head bolts that you just pulled out, and it just looks flimsy. There is no possible way you want to put this stock torque to yield head bolt back on your engine because you don't want to see another blown head gasket. So what are your options? Well, you have two options. You can go with the head studs. Come on. Here I have AP head studs already installed on this engine block on my 2005 Kawasaki ZX-10R. Or the second option, you can go and get head bolts. These are, uh, or this is a ARP head bolt. Uh, it's a lot stronger than the factory head bolt. And it's a very, very good option. So, which way should you go? So let's talk about it. First, let's talk about the most important thing to majority of people. And that would be a price. So, uh, 10 ARP head bolts and washers for this application cost roughly $60. You can get it cheaper or more expensive depending on where you get the parts. It's uh, pretty affordable stuff. Uh, and this AP cylinder head stud kit costs roughly $165. So, as you can see, head bolts are a lot cheaper. A uh, set of uh, 10 head bolts is basically one third of a price of a stud kit. So the second good thing about the head bolts is when you're replacing the cylinder head you can actually lift the cylinder head just to clear the dowel pin and you can remove the cylinder head fairly easy. What that means is as you can see on my bike if I decide to, to change my cylinder head, I can actually remove the cylinder head from the engine block without removing the engine out of the bike. For some people, it's pretty important. It's a lot less work to remove the cylinder head uh, without dropping the engine. If you have head studs already installed on in the block, the cylinder head has to go way up. And as you can see, it you just don't have the room to lift the head and remove it from the engine. What that means is that you have to drop the engine and then remove the cylinder head. It's going to involve more work. Alright, next let's talk about the downside of using the head bolt compared to the head stud. So when you're torquing down the bolt to secure the cylinder head to the engine block, the cylinder head bolt will actually twist because the threads all the way at the bottom are going to have friction between the threads in the engine block. That will not give you ability to torque every head bolt evenly. If you don't torque the cylinder head to proper reading, the cylinder head gasket is going to leak. If you over torque the cylinder head bolts, you're going to squish the cylinder head gasket. It's going to get damaged and it's going to leak. If you don't ap apply enough torque with the cylinder head bolts. The head gasket will be loose and it's going to leak once again and you don't want either one of those. 
the cylinder head gasket only works when it's torqued properly. So with studs, you don't have the twisting force acting on the stud because the stud is already installed in the cylinder in, in the engine block. So the only friction is going to be between the, the nut, threads, and the surface of the cylinder head bolt. That will give you ability to torque more evenly on every stud and that's the main advantage of using the studs. So that tells you that the, the head bolts are cheaper. Uh, most of the time it's actually easier to remove the cylinder head from the engine. Uh, some applications will not give you, will require you to remove the engine from the bike or the car or the truck if you use the studs, but the studs will give you uh, better clamping force on the head and it's going to give you even torque, even clamping force. So much better option unless you want cheaper options.